In recent years, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, one of the most prominent stars in the night sky, has drawn the attention of scientists and skywatchers around the world. Located in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse surprised astronomers when it underwent a dramatic dimming in 2019. This unexpected drop in brightness sparked global curiosity and speculation, with many wondering if this was a sign that the star was nearing the end of its life, a possible prelude to a cataclysmic supernova explosion. Betelgeuse, officially known as Alpha Orionis, is the brightest and largest star in Orion. It is a red supergiant, many times more massive than our Sun, and shines with a luminosity around 100,000 times greater. However, this immense brightness comes at a cost. The star consumes its fuel at a much faster rate than smaller stars, accelerating its journey toward death. When Betelgeuse does reach the end of its life, it is expected to collapse under its own gravity and explode in a spectacular supernova. This process may result in the formation of a neutron star or, if the remaining mass is sufficient, possibly even a black hole. The dimming event of 2019 was later attributed to a massive mass ejection, an event that startled scientists due to its scale and nature. Unlike the solar coronal mass ejections we observe from our Sun, this particular incident involved the release of a cloud of hot gas estimated to be about 400 billion times the mass of a typical solar CME. This cloud temporarily obscured the star's light, causing the significant dimming seen from Earth. Such behavior had never been observed in a star like Betelgeuse, making it a topic of intense study and fascination. Despite the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, one of the most pressing questions remains. Could its eventual supernova pose a danger to Earth? Astronomers believe that the star is located approximately 724 light years away from us. While this distance is close in astronomical terms, it is likely far enough that a supernova would not be directly harmful. For a supernova to cause significant damage to Earth's biosphere, it would need to occur within about 30 light years. At Betelgeuse's estimated distance, the most we would experience is a spectacular light show in the sky, rather than a planetary crisis. That said, supernovae are not to be taken lightly. These explosions release immense amounts of energy, so much that the light from a single supernova can outshine all the other stars in a galaxy combined. When Betelgeuse eventually goes supernova, it will become the second brightest object in our sky, even visible during daylight hours and brighter than a full moon at night. For several weeks, it will cast shadows even in the darkest locations. However, most of the energy from a supernova is not in the visible spectrum. High energy emissions, such as X-rays and gamma rays, are of greater concern. These forms of radiation have the potential to damage the ozone layer that protects our planet from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. A compromised ozone layer could lead to serious consequences for life on Earth, exposing living organisms to increased levels of UV radiation. Furthermore, another danger lies in cosmic rays, high-energy particles that are accelerated by supernovae and travel across the galaxy. While the immediate blast of radiation from a supernova would be brief, cosmic rays could continue to reach Earth long after the initial event, potentially affecting our atmosphere and climate over time. In extreme cases, cosmic rays have been linked to changes in Earth's biosphere that span thousands or even millions of years. Despite all this, Betelgeuse is not expected to go supernova anytime soon. While the dimming event and mass ejection were unusual and fascinating, they do not necessarily indicate an imminent explosion. Stars like Betelgeuse can live for thousands or even millions of years after such events. Yet its status as a nearby red supergiant, visibly changing in real time, offers scientists a rare opportunity to study the life cycle of massive stars and improve our understanding of stellar evolution. Even though the idea of a supernova occurring in our cosmic neighborhood stirs a mix of excitement and concern, it's important to recognize that Betelgeuse serves more as a scientific curiosity than a looming threat. Its eventual demise will provide astronomers with invaluable data and perhaps one of the most extraordinary sky shows in human history. For now, we continue to watch and learn from this aging giant as it drifts ever closer to its subatomic particles known as cosmic rays, which are accelerated to near the speed of light during a supernova, can have devastating effects when they reach nearby planets.
Emerging from the heart of these violent stellar explosions, they have the power to damage a planet's ozone layer and bathe its surface in deadly radiation. These particles don't just carry radiation, they carry energy, and a considerable portion of the total energy released in a supernova is transported in this form. There's mounting evidence that such events may have affected Earth in the past. Traces of iron-60, a radioactive isotope produced only in supernova explosions, have been found embedded in the deep seafloor and in the lunar surface material known as regolith. The presence of this isotope suggests that Earth was bombarded by supernova ejecta in the relatively recent past, possibly within the last few million years. These findings provide sobering evidence that our planet has already experienced the distant effects of stellar death. While current astronomical data indicates that there are no nearby supernova candidates posing an immediate threat to Earth, New research reveals a less understood type of danger. A particular kind of supernova, one that occurs when a dying star is surrounded by a dense disk of gas and dust, has the potential to release highly lethal forms of radiation. When the star explodes, the shock wave from the blast travels outward and slams into the surrounding disk. This collision superheats the material, which then emits enormous quantities of X-ray radiation. This form of radiation is especially dangerous due to its high energy and extensive range. The brightest of these X-ray emitting supernovae could strip away up to 50% of a planet's ozone layer if it occurs within 150 light years. That level of depletion is enough to cause mass extinctions. And the danger doesn't end with the initial radiation surge. Long after the explosion, over the span of months or years, X-rays would continue to bombard the affected planet. Then, hundreds of thousands of years later, cosmic rays would arrive, ensuring the damage to the planet's biosphere is prolonged and possibly permanent. Thankfully, astronomers have not identified any potential X-ray supernova candidates in Earth's neighborhood. However, these discoveries have shifted how scientists view the galactic habitable zone, the region of a galaxy where life can potentially thrive. The outer edges of galaxies are generally too barren in star formation to provide the necessary materials for planet formation. On the other hand, regions closer to the galactic center are crowded with stars that frequently explode as supernovae, creating a hazardous environment saturated with radiation. This new understanding has prompted a re-evaluation of where habitable zones might actually lie in galaxies like our own. The inner boundary of these zones is likely much farther from the galactic core than previously believed, as stars in the inner regions pose too great a risk to developing life due to their frequent and energetic deaths. As for Betelgeuse when it eventually goes supernova, it won't pose any danger to life on Earth. But the event will be anything but subtle. The explosion will make Betelgeuse shine brightly in the night sky for months, its brightness comparable to half the luminosity of a full moon though condensed into a single, brilliant point. For three months or more, it will be easily visible even in daylight. At night, it will be bright enough to cast shadows, a rare and awe-inspiring event. For about a year, Betelgeuse will dominate the sky. Even as the explosion fades, the remnants of the supernova will remain visible to the naked eye for several years. It will be an unprecedented event in modern times a cosmic beacon reminding humanity of the immense forces at play in our universe. It will captivate the world, and its appearance will mark a historic moment for astronomers and casual observers alike.